I'm ready for a commitment, Harry. First time I set eyes on Mary Swanson, I just got that old-fashioned romantic feeling where I'd do anything to bone her. Whoa! Say, say, you drop. Oh, it's giving thirsty. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Jesus. We don't give a fuck. Hey, our next single guy, come on out. Right on over here. Have you hold this? Okay. And if we Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? This is pimping here. I've been on Wheel of Fortune. Prices like oh bitch, just find it. Come on with it. Delusional girl math. This bitch has been lying to me for too fucking long, bro. Who the fuck are you with, bro? Who the fuck are you with? Who is that nigga? Who is he, bro? Who is he? You been lying to me for too fucking long. You know how you do kids on snap maps? Who is that nigga? Get out. Who the fuck is he, bro? Why is he running away? Like, who is he? No, bro, what the fuck, man? You been cheating on me for too fucking long. I can't do this shit anymore. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. One thing that I will say, though, I feel like we need to normalize, and I don't want to offend no women yeah. <laughs> when I say this. Offend them. But men need to normalize almost like training your woman. You know, a lot of women have, you know, we've been self-sufficient, independent. independent. So we're used to a certain, you know, paradigm. Sometimes you have to be patient enough to be like, no, talk to me like this. I'm your man. And you can't just be like giving up on your woman after the it's it's argument. Some time. Sometimes it's gonna take 15 arguments right. for her to realize, okay, okay, this is how I talk to my man. Because I wasn't right. I, I wasn't She's trained sitting. for that. <laughs> a lot of women don't want to face it, but you're not ready for that grown man energy. You will see it as controlling because you don't understand when men got boundaries and standards because you ain't used to dealing with men that got them, right? But a man with standards and boundaries is the same as a woman who got them. They don't play. What the hell did you just say? Why did you bring him in my house? You think I'm playing with you? Why did you bring him in my house, man? She want to keep playing with me, dog. Told her I was going to drop all her shit, man. I can't believe you. I found somebody in my house, man. She done brung a the crib while I was gone, y'all. Her, look at all this. All this finna get thrown out. This finna get thrown out. Brung a nigga in my fucking crib, bro. I don't know why she had the nerve to bring a dude in my crib. I had cameras. I had cameras in my crib the whole time. Get out my car crying, man. Get out my car with all this crying. I'm finna pack all your stuff up. You and your child finna be homeless, bro. You and your child. Stop, stop throwing my stuff down. Stop throwing up. You brought, you brought a dude in my crib, bro. You brought the dude in my crib. I don't wanna hear no oh. curve. I don't wanna hear, bro. I don't wanna hear that, bro. I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear that. Man, I don't wanna hear that. Bro, I don't wanna hear that, bro. All y'all stuff finna get thrown out, bro. I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear none of that. You ain't said that when I was watching that camera. He called. She belongs to the streets. Give me my phone. Said he texted you? Let me see my phone. Said he texted you. Erwin, let you me said, see my you're phone. You're a fucking cheater, dude. Dude, open it. Stop. Setting seven messages. What oh my god, bro. Give it to me. Dude, there you go. Open it. I'm not kidding. Open it. What's your password? Dude, give me it. Give me What's your password? Give me my phone. I don't know. You be alright, nigga. Tough, right? Being on him with a guy in LA. My ex boyfriend of six years. Love him. Really good guy. The last year of our relationship, I started cheating on him with a guy in LA. And that guy was the one who told me, break with your boyfriend, move to L.A. Was he cheating on you too, or...? He's a good boy. 
Why did you cheat on your six year relationship? Ugh, I was so bored and so young and just like when you're that young it's like you don't know what you want in life and like in the moment it seems like a good setup and you think you're happy and content and then you reach like 2021 and you're like oh fuck like I have a lot of life to live and like I didn't want to stay in Nevada and then I met this guy who was like my dream guy who was like so fucking hot and like my ex-boyfriend of six years we stopped having sex like I wasn't sexually attracted to him it was just like we were so comfortable and like family and like roommates at that point um but like just there was no sexual romantic aspect to it so then i met that guy and me off like we got this woman over here cheating over here saving her contacts with satan's and coming up with all kind of diabolical schemes to plot and plan to get over on the nigga that she possibly could be messing with well it could be that you know she still want to be single and still want to be out here outside or in these streets you know, it happens to the best of us, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll be making these videos and these compilations just to point out the obvious, you know, that it does happen to the best of us. You know, look at Tom Brady and Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. It could be any football player that you're coming up with. I mean, you know, they're, they're probably exercising their uh, options out there. But at the end of the day, you actually see that. It's diabolical out here. It's crazy. It's a free-for-all, you know, women getting caught, uh, all kind of weird-ass shit. Uh, what was it? Uh, teachers and lawyers and uh, mayors getting caught doing some diabolical things these days, you know, and um, it's just because shame's out the window and, you know, women just don't feel like they have to uh, abide by certain rules, you know, because they get the the soft pat on the hand when they when they get caught doing something bad, you know. I, I mean, not bad per se, you know, because it's all subjective, but at the same time, bad as in um, morally uh, towards the other person, you know. If you're deceiving and manipulating somebody, then that's pretty bad, you know what I'm saying? That's not going towards truth and what people should uh, be trying to look for, honesty in a relationship, you know. But it is what it is. People are going to keep on um, going through these loopholes and try to find different ways to um, cheat and to find different type of ways to, uh, you know, get their fix or if it's just flirting on the Internet or flirting on, on the phone and text messages and um, calling and all that kind of stuff. It's just simple that uh, people want to do that. I'm just uh, stating the obvious because we all know um, women like to act innocent. You know, they act, they act like they haven't uh, done anything and they don't do that kind of stuff and they're, uh, you know, more moral than you, you know than the average man and um, she's always thinking that a man's going to take advantage of her in certain ways and always trying to manipulate but i just try to uh, state the other side that women do the same thing you know and it's just a uh, it's just a fucked up position that dudes be in when they get manipulated because they usually put all their eggs in one basket and you know a woman's always looking for the best option or the, the grass could be greener on the other side and stuff like that, you know. Not saying all women, I'm just saying some women. So, you know, I'm just uh, stating the obvious because, you know, women love to say that uh, dudes is out here doing their dirt and, you know, they're doing their dirt as well, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Solid acceptance of when you have it. Like, comment, subscribe.